Now listen. Open your paper. If you see black circles on a question mark, same question mark, sorry, same question, right on the blank space here on the Tuesday part. Tuesday super practice day. Yes? Same question, write it here and do the sum again. Right? If you have more than five sums, at least do five sums. If you have less than five sums, I expect you to do all the five sums. Alright? So my brother and Didi and Rolly will help you out if you have any problem, raise your hand. Wait now. Let me set the time. For five sums, you will have at least eight minutes. All these circles, circles. Twenty seconds more. Good. Now, now we'll start the video part. Down there, can you see a few more sums? Yes. Right now, you start solving that sums. Now, Bhaiya, Swami Bhaiya, myself and Didi will help you if you have any problem again. Alright? Now, you start solving that sum. It's for you to practice more. Alright? Start practicing more and more sums. Bhaiya will come and help you again, okay? Okay. Now, here, are, here you have eight sums at least, right? You have eight sums, alright? Now for eight sums, I am giving you 12 minutes. Alright? Only 12 minutes. The time is 9.45. After 12 minutes, I am going to stop you. Alright? Your time starts now. Start solving the video part. Start solving those eight sums which you have down there. And I'm gonna go, somebody is gonna go and help you out. Yes. Okay. Okay. Come on. You haven't started yet. You haven't started. So can you tell me, what does inverse relation mean? Inverse relation means, uh, uh, now here, uh, Robin plus 20 equals to 70. Now I will do uh, back side now. Robin um, uh, equals 70, here will plus now, uh, plus will look. Uh, go from here now, uh, plus will become minus. I see. Okay, so that's an inverse. Hi. The opposite. So I'm Ronald Joseph. I, I am. I'm in. I work with Epiphany School. Um, this is my second year of fellowship, and I teach third grade maths. Um, today I'm gonna show you um, some, something called Maths Packet Watch, which Alika and I um, created together. This Maths Packet give me and my students a clear vision of where we need to reach or, or or how much do we need to practice to master the whole objective right so the first page of my of my mass packet talks about talks about the whole objective and the key points now the key points here are explained in a very very student friendly way right so as you can see from here it starts from what to do and with the, with step by step step by step it's it, it is explained with the help of examples right and then students practice by themselves so the whole idea was that that it that i should i should know or i should vision that to uh, to master this objective what are the different things my, my my students should do in the in the whole classroom right so so uh, when i see the uh, talk about data uh, before using math packets, my students or you know my data used to be always between 56 to 65 percent. It never never shot up to 70 percent. All my objectives mostly, right? But I think this math packet has has helped me and my students that for this particular topic we were 78 percent in the classroom, and this growth was 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 really really amazing to see in the kids, right? And and what I've seen that after using math packet the uh, the retention was much more than when I didn't use the math packet, right? Because the whole math packet is about a week, using about a week. So as I said, this this for the Monday that we do, they do at least 
at least 18 sums and then on the same day they still do 18 sums that's about 36 sums now talking about why 36 sums in a day um, say some of my higher grade grades you know they finish it fast and then they sit idle or they disturb the whole class right so if I give 18 36 sums to the whole class they actually uh, spend a lot of time doing this and at the same point of time those kids who did not understand I can actually pull them out and 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 explain them again then um, going on Tuesday part it's called super practice day where actually whatever mistakes they did on, on Monday they actually correct it at this pace and then I give them more sums to practice then we go on Wednesday where again Tuesday sums which are which were mistaken will be done here and then again practice then Thursday it's called math circle day it's uh, taken from my from a fellow my, my very good friend which uh, which he does in his class where they make their own questions now till from monday till wednesday they have done this they have they have they have practiced about more than 50 sums in 3 days um, and then also also corrected their sums right and on thursday they actually make 30 questions for themselves right and actually, and that should do it so what happens here is that they're making their own questions they get the sense of sense of you know uh, how to again make a question and solve it for themselves Th that that's for thursday and then friday is is their IP where oh sorry their uh, their their weekly assessment uh, parents so basically what happens is that when we teach an objective um, we teach in a very very in a very different way and when they go back home their parents or the or the or their tuition teachers um, teach in a different way so but then this math packet helps them to actually um, to actually read what Bhaiya has taught in the classroom and it helps the tuition teacher or the parents to actually duplicate the whole INM what I've done in the classroom, right? The whole INM can be duplicated. It could be more effective, could be le less effective, but still the whole whole key point or 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 whole why, how and what is dependent in the home. So it, so it gives a very good retention span for kids because they can actually go home and practice in the same way what I have done, which was not happening before in the classroom, right? That's about uh, my math packet. That's about why I made it.